An elite core of the world's best trained warriors gathers in the name of science to push their bodies to their physical limits. The strength and stamina of Navy SEALs. The speed and focus of Green Berets. The lightning reflexes of Israeli commandos. These guys perform at superhuman levels. They truly are in a class by themselves. The goal, test their peak performance under environmental extremes. Today's mission, place this seal under the freezing conditions of hypothermia and see if it impairs his physical and tactical performance. The tools of the test include an obstacle course, a shooting gallery, and a giant tank of ice water. The water has reached a chilling level, about 55 degrees Fahrenheit. The scientists expect Stu to last no longer than 30 minutes before they'll have to pull him out of this icy bath. How's it feel? It's cold. <sighs> Just breathing deep. Heart rate went up to 100. The cold water is a sudden shock to the body. So we've immersed him for an hour in ice cold water. And look at him, he's cold, he's fatigued, he's stressed. We've got him to the position where he is uncomfortable physically, he's uncomfortable mentally. Now we're gonna see how he perform in the exact same scenario we put him in before. Now the true test. Obstacle course and firing range. Can he match his earlier performance when his muscles weren't aching and stiff? When his mind wasn't fatigued? When his motor skills weren't impaired by the freezing cold? Can he even perform the drill at all? Stu, you ready? Ready. Three, two, one, go! see this. Phil, come here. Show me where you're hit. Right between the eyes. Look at that. And in the hand. Hands in the center body mass of the target when he's presenting the firearm. Good shooting, brother. Good job. Under stress, under adversity, under extreme cold, Stu Smith outlasted normal test subjects and now performed himself when placed in the line of fire. That's what special operations are all about.